What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable 4 We got another match with Sableye V and his Inteleon family helping him out. So I'm gonna flip the coin, Absol coin that I got from the uh, Mega Absol collections. I'm quite sure. Yeah, I don't know if it's available elsewhere. Ah, good times making those old openings when I used to buy more products like that. Anyway, we're gonna open Sableye, two Sableye V's, and I got I got the one Zigzagoon. Uh, only one in this deck now. I'll remind you guys, I did change the deck, even though I just posted it. I got another Inteleon, and obviously making sure the Inteleon line is bigger uh, is better than the Zigzagoons. Now, Zigzagoon is faster, but of course he's only gonna give you one damage counter. Inteleon can get you two every turn. It's no wonder it's so good. And from the looks of things, my opponent will also be using it. Uh, they're everywhere. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and use the scoop up net. Just going to use it super early. It's probably not a good idea, but I just want to draw the maximum amount with Marnie here. Uh, Marnie doesn't give a lot of cards. It just gives you five. So thinning the deck, thinning the hand more, it, it's better, I guess, giving us extra cards. And we're going to get our own Sobble down and load search. I'll be able to get the scoop up net once again. So I guess we recover it back even though I used it. So that's nice. Uh, Sableye's V's load search attack is quite good, of course. Uh, if you use it right, depending on the opposition, it's just amazing. And my opponent is using Leafeon. Uh, there's the Leafeon V's over there. So Leafeon V Max. And even in that sort of deck, you guys can see they use this uh, Inteleon Drizzly family, even in Leafeon. What would you know about that? Like, I swear to God, you can just... Any attacker that is self-sufficient, that can attack, doesn't really require any super energy acceleration, like Rayquaza, let's say. You can just throw in that Inteleon family. I mean, it's, it's like I've said before, it's the side IGX, the stage 2 that gave you the same ability, but... With the Inteleon line, it's less risk. It's just a regular stage 2. And you get the Drizzly that lets them evolve quick and also gives you additional searches and consistency. So it's no wonder everybody's using it. It's a bit boring, but just gives you such an advantage. Free damage counters, softening up your Pokemon for your other attackers. Okay, so Galarian Moltres V finally got it down and get a Darkness Energy. And now it's time for level ball. I will get my Drizzly here. And we can search something. Uh, I mean, I'm going to get the energy switch here. Maybe I should have grabbed the supporter, but we're going to risk it. I just want to make sure everything is set up at least. Uh, so that if anything goes wrong, I can do something with the other Sableye. Just make use of these cards like the energy switch so they can, we can just get them out of our deck. Um, my bench is full, which is, it, it is a bit annoying. You know, the Zigzagoon taking up the space there would have been a third uh, Sobble. But, you know, this Sableye V deck does need more support than something like uh, Jolteon VMAX, let's say, or Inteleon. Uh, you kind of have to use the Galarian Moltres V if you want to get that speedier energy acceleration on Sableye with energy switch. Otherwise you have to use Turbo Patch or just nothing else. So it makes Sableye V kind of a more of a B tier uh, partner I guess for Inteleon. S stuff like Jolteon and Inteleon VMAX itself will probably be better but it is what it is. I'm using it for now. So the Leafeon VMAX is out, has two energies. It's going to easily kill Sableye V. Uh, he only has 170 HP, but more importantly, my opponent is going to have the type advantage in this match. Uh, our Pokemon are weak to grass. Even the Galarian Moltres, I can't use it because it's just easily going to die. So that really sucks, not going to lie. Okay, so our dude is already out. And... I need four more damage counters on this Leafeon VMAX to kill it. I'm a bit surprised she promote, he promoted this one. 
and not the other one and put the energy on it. But anyway, okay, so quick shooting. We're going to go for it. I need five damage counters to get the one hit KO. Four is not going to be enough. And uh, I guess I got to go for it. I got to reuse the Zigzagoon. We're going to have to risk it. I need to see another scoop up net so we can put the fifth damage counter. Otherwise, we did this for nothing. So quick ball. I'm going to discard the... Boss's orders, get the Crobat V. We're going to try and draw as many cards as we can here. Crobat V, not Eldegoss. So between the Crobat V and another supporter, probably Marnie, I need to see what I need to see. And I do see the scoop up net, even without using a supporter, which is great. So out of nowhere, we're going to get this one hit KO on this Leafeon V Max, which is good. I definitely needed this. Got to keep applying the pressure. So, let's get an additional search with Drizzly as well. What should I get? I guess get the Stadium. Get rid of your uh, Galarian Mine, I think it's called. Whatever the hell it's called. The Coal Mine gives us more retreat. So, second Darkness Energy and going to do the Marnie as well. Maybe I should have used the Level Balls to get them out of the deck. But anyway, just go for it. Uh, minimize his hand. Hopefully this amounts to something. But I mean, he does have those unevolved uh, Drizzly and Sobble there. And get that one hit KO. So perfect. Uh, playing against his opponent, it actually made me think if using the 60 HP Sobble is, good of a, good of a, is a good enough idea. There's the 70 HP one, but it's not a Rapid Strike one, and you don't really get that bonus the search bonus i guess if you can attack early with it now in other decks like rapid strike theme decks you're better off running the rapid strike one but i think in other decks like like just taking it in in sable eye and other attackers maybe you don't really need the rapid strike one you're better off using the 70 hp one because they can survive i guess three damage counter spreads from intelion is little things like that matter Okay, unfortunately, my opponent is ready to go again with the other Leafy on VMAX. Got rid of my stadium, two energies, big grass VMAX, that's a threat. It's easily going to kill the Save Live V. And I don't really think I'll be able to respond here. If this guy dies, I mean, I, I still have an energy switch and I can, like, power up Save Live V if I want to. But we need five damage counters to finish this guy off if i don't then he's just gonna kill me and get the remaining two prizes so it's a very difficult situation a probably unwinnable situation the thing is is that my opponent got that first knockout two prizes and i just got one of his uh one prize ko's killing the sable there it wasn't great but it is what it is uh, Dark Flame Wings, we're going to get our energy and energy switch. Uh, put the energy on Sableye, don't really have much of a choice. I can evolve into the Inteldeon, the stage 2 that lets us grab cards as opposed to put damage counters. But it's just not going to do it, is it? I can get to it of any trainer card. But whatever I do, I can't really put more damage counters on Leafeon. We just can't win this, can't we? And I need to get a supporter too, because I don't have anything. So he only has three Pokemon. Avery is going to be useless. I think we're just going to have to get like Professor Oak is the only way. I can get rid of his stadium, but... Is there anything I can do? I think the only thing I can do is just... Let's see. Get Marnie. And... We're going to have to let that Zigzagoon die there. Let me just get rid of some cards from my deck a bit more. Counter his stadium. Go for Marnie. And I think the only thing I can really do is just do some load search, bosses, orders, shenanigans. And then hopefully that works out. I doubt it, but 
Our bench is full. Ah, uh, Elder Gas V, I can't even use. I can't even switch. Six goon. And. Yeah, I mean, we're not winning this game. I'm just delaying the inevitable. Let's see what he's going to do. Quick ball. Get another Leafy on V. And Professor's Research. Yeah, he's thin in his deck. He's not even going to bother playing any useless Pokemon down. He knows he has full control. He just needs to see, like, boss's orders or something to fully get control of the game. And I'm going to lose... More damage counters on Inteleon. At this point, he can just finish me off that way. Inteleon is going to die. Uh, Zigzagoon is going to die right now. And then he just wins. He doesn't even need to kill the Sableye. And heal off the damage too. Yeah, that's another thing. This guy can do against us. So it, it's basically, it's over. I mean, I'm going to try and do some bosses order shit here. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we can do quick shooting, but... You're just going to heal the damage off. Boss's orders is into this Kappa. And with Elder Gas, I can just try and do this. Just stall him out. But I don't think it's going to work. Uh, these guys only have one retreat cost. He must have like at least one switch or an energy in the deck. And we're going to get Boss's orders. Uh... That was actually a fuck up. I should have grabbed. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I should have grabbed the scoop up net to save the Inteleon. Because if it dies, I'll still lose. But he, he has the switch anyway, so it doesn't matter. So unfortunately, our small, our small little streak is over. Say a uh, You did okay, I guess. But you're not really a top deck. There are other better partners with Inteleon. But it is what it is. We tried Good little match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a...